Shalom guys, I hope that you are enjoying your new year uh, and have had a wonderful, restful day. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. If you are a new year uh, celebrator in any kind of way like that, uh, if you're returning, welcome back. Those of you who are brand new, listen, my channel is really, really intense and the energy flow today is huge. All right, so just warning you, I'm not religious or churchy or anything, but I do love Yehovah Elohim, who is the maker of heaven and earth, who inhabits eternity. You can call him universe, you can call him all kinds of names, because he's every name. Okay, and uh, anyway, he's lovely, he's the uh, Elohim of war, he teaches our hands how to war, he get up and and um, give us justice when we've been taken advantage of, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not churchy or religious, I, I do use the living language and scripture and stuff, because that's actually found in the tarot if you didn't know that then you're knowing it now um i use homemade decks and things that go back to the living language itself because it's it's living today and uh, i got all kinds of things that i use that uh, i just sit down with the great divine who said you know write this down on a card or whatever uh, i've also got the living language dictionary that uh, i've taken and have made within my cards as well as as Jehovah has led me to do so. So there's moral laws and things like that that we should never, ever cross the line, but yet people have. And uh, so he's still the great judge today. He is the um, uh, governor of the nations. He is the ultimate judge that is, uh, you know, uh, allowing things to come out as we read. And he knows who's going to click up on this video and all that kind of stuff. So I just get back and let him do his thing. Okay. And he's magnificent. And so I love Jehovah Elohim. He is our Yeshua, our salvation, and uh, his kingdom will always reign, and it is without end, and it's being set up, and uh, we're in a time of prophecy now in history that is so um, intense, people, it really is, and I really do feel that energy, and those of, you, those of you who follow me, you absolutely know, so, whatever title I put up at the top of this video is what we're going to talk about, okay, um, I'm working on some combos, so we'll see what comes out here. Um, you can check those out. Whatever is down below the description box. There's other videos for the Capricorn season as well. Those were extremely intense uh, readings and uh, all kinds of stuff just down below. Go ahead and check that out if you would like. Whatever hits your fancy. So, Jehovah, I love you. I appreciate you. I just move out of the way. And I just, I just call for the east gate, the west gate, the north gate, the south gate, the ancient gates to be open that the king of glory could come in and uh, be so magnified and uh, just show who you are to the people of the earth, to the world, Jehovah. I just appreciate you so very much. What two elements do you want to bring out and to, uh, okay to um, speak about. We have water, and I just did water and air. Um, this is about being in unity with the Two of Cups. I also did a reading on another channel of mine, people, and air was everywhere. It was just all over the freaking place. And uh, this is at the top of the mind, being in unity and, and things like that. So I guess we're going to go ahead and look at water and uh, fire this time around. Alright, so water and fire is here. Um, all right, Jehovah. Well, then let's see what's going on. So we need somebody who who is involved in some type of love connection to have some type of compassion here, to have strength. The strength card is hard energy. I mean, you have to have strength for love itself is hard, people. It's just within family, within love connections, uh, with your children, with your parents, whatever this is. This is the letter Het in the Hebrew, which is the pictograph of the wall or a ladder, right? Um, some people need to be protected um, because we've got a lion here that seeks whom he may devour. So the angels are here to help uh, give compassion and things like that. So the Het in the Hebrew is passing from one space to the next and that you know, goes back to like death energies or new births can, can be connected with the strength card. Children are with this house. It's front stage stuff. And um, so let's see what's going to come out for this energy. What do you, what do you want to, what's the most important thing that you want us to know about the past within this uh, decision, this love, this unity, whatever has 
been up and down a ladder or the wall that has been put up or to protect. So some, so some type of new start jumping off the cliff. Uh, if this was foolishness, then it was foolishness. Okay? We've got somebody who has, for some of you all, marked and signed something, and it was marriages, okay? It's some type of contract. Uh, I'm saying that because this is the Tav, to mark or sign something, um, or to mark out of place and did something, and there was some type of death around it for some people. So we have the King of uh, Pentacles here coming out. Um, the King of Pentacles can be a boss figure. Um, it could be your father involved in something, your husband, whatever this is, um, with this king of pentacles and this fool starting something new. This could be an aviation card, so traveling type of energy is here. I'm seeing, so obviously this is the king of pentacles. I go back to taurine energy, holds this in the deck, but it's showing a cow. You could live on a farm. I'm only bringing this out because we've just been getting a lot of it lately. Um, for some of you all, this was something foolish because there's mountains here. Something could have happened in the mountains. There's also a dog here. Um, dogs return to its vomit, as I always say, because the scripture states so. And a fool returns to its folly. If that was something foolish that's taking place here and something died along the way or your child died or somebody was just childish and put up walls and did something very stubborn. Um, then I guess something like that's taking place. Maybe this was your boss. Um, we have the H and the T out here, and uh, it, that's somebody who wears hats. Somebody could be involved in your connection for a clue to what Jehovah's fixing to bring out as we unfold this that wears a lot of hats. If they're foolish and they're, they, you know, are just high-minded and prideful. This energy can go back to prideful and they just take their hat off at, at will and do foolish things and then they really are a hater. Uh, the word hate can also be found here. Uh, hit is here. Somebody was hit off to do something because we do have energies here to have to have some type of strength around the lion who seeks to be made devour and the mountains go back. Somebody's got a chaotic mark and we've got the top to mark out something. Um, given what we talk about on my channel and real stuff, um, the, the mountains go back to an enemy or a blockage. And something's happened here in the past position uh, around something that got started or there was some type of clean slate, but something's in the now over the top of water and fire where somebody needs some type of compassion or to release some type of harsh judgment within something connected to a death or children or uh, prideful energy. Okay, let me just see what this word is. The word that's out here goes back to fear and to break. Something got broken, then it did uh, within something and it caused some type of clean slate or somebody signed something, a divorce decree or uh, something has happened um, within some type of situation that was foolish apparently for some people because there's, there's terror energy here. We have a frying pan here. Well, if somebody got hit with the frying pan, then I guess they did or something with food then is here for some people. Um, we've got um, something that's been confounded in this word, in this section. Uh, somebody's just been, you know, broke down in terror to be seized okay well if, if this king of pentacles is the one that did something okay and uh has caused that kind of a energy to come out here then there there was some type of unity around something that caused something foolish to come out of this energy uh combination there's a ruin type of energy here within something with a lot of pentacles apparently whatever that is um, and it's caused somebody to pass from one way of being to another way of being, or somebody got pregnant within something, but it ruined a situation here, whatever the foolishness was. Well, something got cut here, because the word, um, will take you to divide. There's a spear here with this, uh, word, um, dart energy is, is here, but this goes back to a weapon. So somebody was afraid and something's taking place with the weapon and it was foolish around children. Somebody lost a, a child that way. Man, I said you love and lie. Um, somebody left their weapon out and it's just, you know, to bring in a spear 
just for a point of reference because the word weapon was there. Maybe it was a spear for some people. I don't know. Maybe you were up in the mountains and did something with the spear. Or it's, I don't know. There's a dark energy here. People like to you know take their spears and to throw them at fish and stuff because the dart is a fish. But that also takes back to anxiety energy as well. But something's happened here within this where somebody's needing some type of compassion within the situation here. Let me just take some words. We have a nymph here. Okay, well... <laughs> Beware, because there's a nymph in the past position. Somebody got mixed up in signing then something away, and it was to their destruction. Um, again, those of you who don't know what a nymph is, I'll put that down below uh, for time's sake. That's just, just people who have set by a watery top uh, sea energy that tried to lure people in by cords of, dis uh, to, of deceit. You could be dealing with somebody in the military. You don't have to, but that energy goes back to that. Um, and it's for their destruction. They just sit there and they whine and they, they talk to the dead. And, and But it, they're mixed type of seed within uh, these people. And if you know anything about prophecy, the, the Christ said that uh, uh, as the days of Noah, so will it be as the coming of the Son of Man. And in, in, in Noah's days, there were giants in the land. Okay, now we've got giants that have... Uh, made its way in energetically spiritually speaking as well because the flood is is fire and fire is spiritual and so it's trying to make its way in this realm and so somebody got mixed up in some type of a siren type of nymph like energy and got pulled in by cords of deceit and, and they signed something away or marked something out or did something and crossed the line with children and it's caused a fear and destruction type of energy coming out here but this is huge energy coming out here all right, this is your daughter or your daughter-in-law. Okay, well, so if you are whatever end of that is that you're on, the prophecy also goes back to that uh, kind of stuff and that people would be against one another. Some people went into the way of Cain, put their children through the fire. It's nasty energy. Uh, so a judgment for also sex with their aunt is here for some of you all. Well, that's nasty energy, and uh, there's a judgment here. Okay, all right, well, we'll just uh, go on to the next uh section here between your energy um show me um show me what's hidden here now this hidden space could be past or it's something the energy is hidden in the now because there's really no uh, time in the spirit so messages are here i just literally did a profound reading um and the eight of wands came out uh may not have any connection but we do have fire here so it does because the lion energy was there it was chained up for some of you all there was in the hidden, there's messages, Cupid's arrows, traveling. If we're talking about a spear, then we've got arrows. This is represents arrows. There's a, you see, could be secret communication because it's in the secret place, but you're always allowing you to know something's taking place within some type of travel or aviation. Um, and somebody has had sex uh, with their aunt, I guess, um, in some type of situation. That ain't going to be for everybody, obviously. But listen, that could also be with your uncle because, you know, when, when you do something sexually, you become one in the spirit. Uh, so that could also be with your uncle. We've seen sex with your uncle as well come out. So take it as you must. But somebody's done something here on a trip or within communication. Somebody really up in their head. Well, I've seen this card several times today. And the communication has caused a lot of um, piercing hardcore energy to cause somebody to be up in their mind. Well, because they lost... The, this is detached energy. That's incredible. The, you know, and what's in the hidden is a flame. Uh, air will fuel fire, so these thoughts are just... They're just traveling fast, and it's just like they can't get the communication out of the head. It just keeps darting at them. There's anxiety here. Remember, the word was dark, which will take you back to anxiety, and the anxiety card comes out. That's in this. It's in this section of what's hidden. Let's take some words on this. Jehovah, you just speak on. Um, there is going to be... So there's positive reinforcement. If you're in the upright within this, there's somebody who can help. There is a friend here, or a friend tried to do something in the past. I mean, some people are already under judgment for some stuff. Um, 
whatever's going on. Somebody, though, is in the hidden for some of you all that is in agreement that can help within a situation. That's positive because somebody's got some mental issues going on here. Uh, remember, people, the scripture says in Leviticus that if you lay down with, like, your father or your mother or your aunt or your uncle, you get a line of confusion. And that's exactly what's going on here, and we're seeing it. Okay, the Jehovah's Word don't lie. Somebody's feeling empty. There's a flowing away of something. There's been a waste of something here. Okay, well, Jehovah, you pick it. Um, there's been a war. There's a secret war going on. Well, in the mind space as well. A raw war as well. We had a frying pan, and I won't elaborate on that, but we do know people are nasty like that. And um, those people are getting out of the earth. Okay, but there is positive reinforcement here uh, for somebody who's connected to this energy. Um, this family stuff going on in a very big, big way. So let's see what uh, Yoga wants to bring out here for just additional messages between water and fire. Thank you, Yehovah. Um, so, we do have messages and checking things out. This can be a secret investigator energy. This is children, teenagers as well, because obviously somebody's dealing with the narcissist, I guess for some of you all. Um, we've got a know-it-all here. We got somebody who has done some stuff and they're a nymph and they've signed their soul away. They've done something very foolish here. Um, it's affected daughters and daughter-in-laws and mothers and mother-in-laws and aunts. And um, it's all feminine energy then showing out here on this King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles has had sex with his aunt. Um, then I guess that's what's freaking showing then, I guess. That's nasty. Uh, or whoever you, whatever freaking role you play in it, or this is the uncle is finding out something about something. Uh, there's a war energy here around a situation, but there is positive reinforcement uh, showing up here, and somebody is, you know, checking some things out, and there is going to be a wish fulfillment. The, the Nine of uh, Cups is going to be a wish fulfillment, but something's very much, I mean, we got anxiety going on, obviously. Um, secret exchanging going on as well and this is physical secret exchanging the eight is infinity something been going on for a long time the eight can go back to secret sexual things people really can um, but that's also investigative energy as well with the eight and so somebody's knows that there's been communication in the secret and what's going on there's been a judgment taking place here show me some more um, so we have so we had a frying pan over here. We have boiling meat here. A roast. A bake. Um, a place for boiling. We know that we're in the judgment right now where um, people are going to be thrown in the uh, fire flood. And Jehovah stated that he's going to burn a witch and all that kind of stuff. And pride and ego goes back to that kind of stuff. And uh, the... <laughs> The giants, the nymphs, they're all going to get boiled just like meat. Okay, so whatever, whatever this is, there's some type of a wish fulfillment within some type of communication where I guess in the past possibly something's happened because that frying pan was out here. We also have, uh, so we have a male prostitute here. Well, somebody laid down with their freaking family member. All right, it, we've got the dog here. We've got... Um, euphemism energy showing up here somebody is going to be put down they are they're going to be put down and um there will be communication about it it's going to be a wish fulfillment because somebody's been through some stuff somebody just been if nothing else just boiling you know their their body's just boiling over the situation then i guess it is because they've done something foolish here people um there's been deceitful things that people have been drug into and got involved in and caused some piercing crap and something's just been flowing away within it or death issues have occurred and children have died within this mess that's happened with this energy you know water and fire will boil will steam right we have little energy well we have children energy here or somebody's been belittled or uh, made fewer or there's some type of a decrease here. We have something flowing away. We have something that's just wasted within the stupid war that's gone on secretly. And somebody, you know, obviously some people try to act like they're okay and secretly they're, they're a mess. 
but there is some type of positive reinforcement here within some type of communications if somebody can open up if, if they're still I mean I don't know who you are in all this stuff that's coming out for this energy but um, if Yoga says there's positive reinforcement and somebody can help then by God then you need to act upon that what there's compassion out here if somebody still has the evidence of something whatever that is people somebody still has some, it's something little or it's some type of money or something with the boss or some, there's some type of evidence that's here okay so there's a widow somebody's been bound in grief with it well obviously some of you all need compassion because of some type of um, those of you ain't dealing with the nymph and stuff like that somebody's died and that's what's being shown let me just take from this deck show me fire and water energy because we do have unity and somebody does want to kiss somebody so bad and uh, so if, safe, if safe for you to love and somebody's just mixed up in all the stupidness maybe you're just the you know the private investigator and you're dealing with a sick freaking case that's going on in the earth then I guess that's what is showing for some of you all um, someone's getting fired <laughs> And someone who carries a knife is here as well. Well, somebody needs to get fired, I guess, if they did some nasty. Or they've done some stuff. We've been seeing a lot of stuff. Somebody says, you encourage me so much. And it is truthful. Well, do, we do have, you know, whatever's taking place within all of this. Let's say you are somebody mixed up in all of this, but you're in the upright of it. You're just experiencing the crap that's in it. There is truthful stuff here. And something positive is going to come out for you. Okay? So, jeez. Uh, so there's been jealousy energy here. Actually, I just did a reading just a minute ago and the jealousy energy came out as well. But Jehovah is also jealous over you and will get up and fight for you. Okay, water and fire. This is what's come out. We do have a, a positive reinforcement. There is a friend here. There is somebody that, you know, is seeing eye to eye or there's some type of unity here within something that's being investigated because obviously there's some type of foolish stupid murder or somebody died somehow in some type of a energetic deceitful pool and there's been sex with nasty family members and crazy kooks and everything else going on within this war but it's going to be okay if you can connect with the divine he will work it out for you my god people i don't know what in the crap is going on today but the energy is just holy moly it is just I, I wish sometimes i could just say here feel what i'm feeling and literally just let that spirit just be in you it's heavy on me people it really is but Anyway, I feel led to do these uh, readings today, so it is what it is. Take it, leave it. If this is not your story, and I hope it's not, but it is for somebody because Jehovah brought it out here and he don't lie on my channel. I mean, he is still judging some things. At the same time, there is going to be some communication. There's going to be a wish fulfillment for somebody. And uh, all the wicked are going to go into the boiling pot and they're going to be, be, be in the frying pan. And they're just going to get out of here and we're going to be able to celebrate and uh, be glad that these nymphs are gone. Okay? All right. Well, until next time, y'all. Shalom. <laughs>